Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. This is the third and final part of the construction of our Kerbal Space Station. And what I realized was we kind of left all of our astronauts in space. The contract said you need a facility to support seven uh, Kerbals. Not that I need seven Kerbals up there. So what you're seeing here is me rescuing some of my Kerbals in a little rescue rocket that I created. And bringing them back down to Kerbin. So, with three Kerbals aboard, we can begin our descent back down to the planet. The reason for bringing these guys back is because I'm going to need astronauts and scientists and engineers for other missions, aren't I? So I thought, why not go up there, rescue them, uh, just to show you a bit of it, you know, just to keep the continuation of the series going. How did I get them astronauts? This is how. So I thought I'd bring them back. Uh, with the intention of using Jebediah to fly up and add the third and final part to the Kerbal Space Station. Now, obviously, Jebediah is the most experienced Kerbinaut in my uh, crew, so I thought he has to be the man to complete the greatest structure Kerbal kind has ever witnessed. So, as we begin our descent, obviously, we need a giant freaking heat shield, so I thought, whack that on there. I sped the video up because and edited it into parts just for uh, your satisfaction. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, I think it's better just to um, make these parts of the video as brief as possible. Otherwise, I'll just be going like, what am I going to talk about for like 20 minutes while I try and rendezvous with a rocket? You know what I mean? So eventually we get down. We've got Jebediah, Maxi and Frovin coming back down to the surface. Welcome back, guys. Um, what I've got here is the final part of my International Space Station that I'm building. In order to complete this contract that you can see down here, it says... Uh, if you remember that we need to build a new orbital station around Kerbin, it needs to have uh, an antenna, docking ports, and can generate its own power. Uh, it needs to have a facility supporting at least seven Kerbals, 5,000 units of electric charge, a viewing cupola, which I've added here, and maintain stability for 10 seconds. So. This is the final part that I'm going to attach, if you remember, to our previous uh, parts. So, in this, I'm going to take four more of these 1,000 charge batteries. I've now added uh, four photovoltaic panels, so solar panels, on here. And there's our viewing cupola. We've still got the RCS to help us maneuver. And I've got these, this nice new stage in here, which will help me maneuver when we're doing the final approach to the rocket. So without further ado, uh, final approach to the ISS, sorry. So without final ado, ado without any further ado, that's the word. <laughs> Let's go to the launch pad and begin our ascent towards the ISS. Now, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit so we can do this in daylight. Who wants to launch into space in the darkness? Now, Jebediah is back in charge of this rocket. The reason for that is um, I did have him on the ISS, but I sent up a rescue rocket, essentially so that I could just um, bring back uh, two or three Kerbals. I brought back Jebediah and one other who I can't quite remember. But I really like the design of this rocket. It's the, the basic one that we've used for parts one, two, and obviously this final part uh, of constructing our ISS is pretty damn good. Now I apologize if I cough and my voice sounds a bit funny. I am a bit sick, so poor old Riney. All right, what I'm gonna do is just speed up the engine here. Hopefully, oh dear, oh dear, it's starting to tilt. No, no, no. Oh god, it's tilting too quickly. Um, whoops, I don't know what happened there. Let's just revert to the launch. That was a bit of a mess. <laughs> we'll try that one again. Stage two of launching our rocket back up into the ISS. Okay, ready? Hopefully, this time it will go fine. And we won't have any of that nonsense with Reinstein messing around. Now, I'm really excited to be building this uh, space station because, one, it will give me the ability to generate loads of science uh, using the, I can't remember what it's called, the, it's like a mobile processing lab, that's the word. So that's attached to it, so I've got some Kerbals up there, some scientists who are going to be generating some science for me. How much they get, I have no clue, but it sounds like a cool thing to do. So, uh, and there's also loads and loads of biomes, like, uh, that I haven't researched. So if I just click on this little X, it's another mod that I've got called X Science. And basically what it shows is 
all the places where you still haven't got science from. So you can see there's loads of greyed out ones that I haven't got just yet. And it shows you ones on Kerbin, it shows you ones on Jewel, Gilly, Dres, you know, wherever. All over the place. So it's a really useful mod. I'll try and post a link to that in the description. If I forget, just remind me. And I'm sure some of you will find that very helpful indeed. Now let's continue on our ascent. So now we can start to turn right and do our gravity burn, which some of you have um, been telling me about. I already knew about it, but, you know, sometimes I just prefer to just go straight up, get out into space and do the whole uh, do the whole maneuvering thing. Sometimes that's better for me. All right. Um, obviously not on big missions because you need to do it properly and conserve loads of fuel. So here we are. There is the space station, so I'm just going to burn a little bit outside it, like so. Let's tilt our rocket so it gets into its circular orbit even more. There's no sound now. Let's go back here. There we go. We can hear it. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now, if I take a look up here, our apoapsis height is climbing to 180,000 nearly. So I'm just going to maneuver my self on the nav ball down here to point towards this little light blue icon that will show me that's the direction i need to be pointing in really to get my orbit and you can see i'm nearly out of fuel already here we go we're out of fuel on that stage let's, let's eject ourselves and ready for the next stage there we go lovely all right we should have our orbit any second Hopefully we're going to have enough fuel for this. 1,000 meters per second delta V still. Okay, that looks good enough. All right, now I'm going to go to the apoapsis. Do a little maneuver. And that only needs a slight change in delta V of 64.4. So let's fast forward, get to our maneuver point. And then I'm going to skip the video to the point where I make contact because it takes quite a while for me to do it and it will just be me going, uh, 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 and you don't want to see that. It's not fun. <laughs> All right, nearly there. Let's do our little burn. And there we are. We're exactly where I want us to be. All right, I'll rejoin you in a moment. So our rocket was launched. And we are up trying now to rendezvous with the first two parts of our space station. I've only edited this uh, parts of this video to one and a half times just because, you know, it's, it's a little bit tricky rendezvousing. But so I didn't want to show you all of it, but here you can see my approach to space station two. Now, as I promised, Jebediah is in charge of this third and final part. I think this space station is going to be quite cool. Um, as I mentioned previously, this part basically has some more solar panels. Um, it has some more batteries so we can meet the objective. There's a number of objectives the company who gave me this contract wanted me to achieve. You know, um, have a certain amount of power, have it be able to um, generate power, and so on and so forth. So I thought, alright, we'll make this kind of cool. And I believe this is my first ever space station. I, I did try to build one before, but I didn't ever complete it, at least not to my satisfaction. And surprisingly, even though we don't have all of the research parts, uh, we haven't researched all the parts, you know, like the multi-connectable docking port thing, I still managed to achieve this. So this is quite difficult. I just literally got two points of contact uh, to join together. So I was relatively pleased. And I did edit this video because we were approaching the second part of the space station with our third part on the dark side of earth you know away from the sun and i was like there's no way i'm gonna dock it in the dark i can barely dock in the light <laughs> so um yeah fast forwarded it edited it blah 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 got to this stage and now i'm just messing around with ijkl keys if anyone's got any tips for how to use those for the rcs thrusters do let me know because it takes me ages to figure out what's going on as you can see here i'm having a load of trouble but the good thing is, on the nav ball, if you look, I've got that little green icon uh, sitting above the pink icon, and that's basically what you want. That shows you that you're heading in the right direction, and you've got to make contact. So as long as they're sitting on top of each other, and you're approaching at a slow enough speed, usually 0.1 is better, but I'm going at 0.2 meters per second. Um, and then, through some bizarre luck, I get a connection really easily just like that whereas you know connecting parts one and two required a lot of fudging so here we go 
There we go. I've now sped this up quite a lot because I didn't want to show all of it. Um, well, I did want to show all of it, but I didn't want to show it in real time because it just takes too long. So I stopped researching. I needed to generate 5,000 units of electric charge. And there we go. I've done it. I was like, yeah, we finally have our space station. And I'll go back, chill out, and relax. Thanks for watching, guys.